morning to the students of class 5 students today we are going to begin with a new topic in maths that is measuring temperature now what is temperature temperature is a measure of how hot or cold an object is as compared to the other object this is the definition of temperature and it indicates that heat flows from the object with a higher temperature to the object with a lower temperature that means the heat will always flow from an hotter object towards a cold object and it is measured using a thermometer now students sometimes it happened that any of you might have fever at any period of time so what will your parents do at that time the parents or elders of your home is going to take the help of the thermometer and then measure the temperature of your body in order to check that whether fever is there or not and also to check the level of fever thus children we can define the temperature as the measure of hotness or coldness of something and just now i have said that you use the thermometer to measure the temperature so thermometer is a tool used to measure temperature now we are going to study about the different temperature skills the three common skills for measuring temperature are fahrenheit scale celsius scale and kelvin scale in the celsius and fahrenheit scales the temperature is measured in units called degrees that is the degrees you can see the symbol of degree these are equally spaced units between two points the space between degrees can vary from one scale to other in the kelvin scale no degree sign is used and the unit is just called a kelvin now students let us work out a few sums here this will be a worksheet where you have got the definition of temperature you are going to write the temperature is a measure to describe how hot or cold an object or a substance is and the instrument used for measuring temperature is called the thermometer temperature can be measured in celsius and fahrenheit the temperature the common temperature of your body that is measured by using the thermometer and it consists of the liquid metal called the mercury present in it all right so let's work out a few sums question number 1 write the correct temperature 10 degree cooler than 70 degree that means you are subtracting 10 degree from 70 degree cooler means always less remember this okay so that is why we are subtracting and after subtracting we are getting 70 minus 10 that is 60 degree next 40 degree warmer than 20 degree now here you have warmer so warmer will mean plus so that is why you are adding 20 degree plus 40 degree that is 60 degree all right next question question number 2 how many degrees cooler is 20 degree than 50 degree so again you have cooler over here cooler means subtract cooler means subtract so here you are subtracting 50 degree minus 20 degree so the subtraction is done over here that is 30 degree you are getting as you know children this subtraction is very easy only you are going to subtract it numerically that means 50 minus 20 you will do 50 minus 20 and you get 30 now since both are having degree that is why you are going to put a degree over here so you will write the answer 30 degree cooler is 20 degree than 50 degree right next question number 3 how many degrees warmer is 70 degree than 40 degree now here the question is how much warmer is 70 degree than 40 degree so in this case you are comparing the two temperatures so in that case comparing means you will have to subtract so 70 degree minus 40 degree 
then after that you are doing the simple numerical subtraction that is 70 minus 40 you are getting 30 so now since you have degrees you will have to put the degree over here in the answer so you will, you will write the answer 30 degree warmer is 70 degree than 40 degree next question number 4 the thermometer showed 55 degree at noon it was 13 degree cooler at night what did the thermometer show then so during the daytime that is the noon the thermometer as I have told the thermometer is used to measure the temperature okay so during the noon the thermometer is showing the reading 55 degree now at night it is said that it was 13 degree cooler so again you have cooler over here 13 degree cooler than 55 degree so now you are comparing that is subtracting 55 degree minus 13 degree that is 42 degree so you are going to write the answer the thermometer shows at night 42 degree so that means this is the reading of the thermometer which it is showing next take the most likely temperature that means the most suitable temperature question number a planting a garden the three options are 25 degree celsius 0 degree celsius and 5 degree celsius now students 0 degree celsius that means it is extremely low temperature means the freezing point right that is 0 degree celsius the freezing point of water that is 0 degree celsius and 5 degree celsius that is also very very cold so we cannot plant a garden in these two temperatures so these are cross so we cannot choose these two options we are going to choose 25 degree celsius and this is not too much hot also not too cold also so this is the suitable temperature for planting the garden next wearing a woolen coat now children when do we wear the woolen coat during the winter so at during the winter the temperature is always less so here the three options are 75 degree celsius 28 degree celsius and 6 degree celsius now since 6 is very much less that means at 6 degree celsius the temperature is very very cold or the weather is very much cold that is why this particular temperature is suitable for wearing a woolen coat next washing a car now here again the three temperatures are 25 degree celsius 5 degree celsius and 10 degree celsius now students 5 degree celsius is very much cold and 10 degree celsius is also cold but it is hotter than 5 degree celsius but it is colder than but it is less cold than 5 degree celsius right that means this 10 degree celsius temperature is little bit warmer than 5 degree celsius but for washing a car the suitable temperature will be 25 degree celsius next is question number 6 find the difference between the two temperatures now difference means here you will have to take out the subtraction value that means you will have to subtract the smaller unit from the bigger unit now see here in question number a you will have to take out the difference between 10 degree celsius and 4 degree celsius now 10 degree minus 4 degree you are doing now here 10 minus 4 numerically if we subtract we will get 6 so you are writing 6 degree celsius next between 20 degree celsius and 60 degree celsius that means you subtract 20 from 60 20 degree celsius you are subtracting from 60 degree celsius so you know that 60 minus 20 that gives you 40 and you are writing degree celsius next you will have to take out the difference between 30 degree celsius and 45 degree celsius so you write 45 degree celsius minus 30 degree celsius then you are doing the subtracting and you are doing the subtraction then you are getting 45 minus 30 which is 15 and you write degree celsius so you are getting 15 degree celsius next one difference between 40 degree celsius and 5 degree celsius so you know 40 minus 5 is 35 you are going to write 35 and then write 
degree Celsius, right? So, children, what conclusion can we draw from here? The conclusion from which we can draw is that, conclusion which we can draw is that, as the temperature becomes lower, it becomes cooler and as the temperature rises, it becomes hotter. As you know that in a hot day, the temperature is much more as compared to that of the temperature of a cold day, right? So, students, you are going to work out the given sums in your classwork notebook. Thank you all for today.